Okay, so what we've got open here is what's called a visual terminal chart. And as you can see on the screen, it says Sydney and it also has Newcastle and Williamtown. Now in real life, these PDFs would be printed out on paper. And so right now we're looking at the Sydney side of that printed piece of paper. Now you can download charts from Air Services Australia. So if you do a search on Air Services and AIP, that's like AIP, Aeronautical Information Publication, you'll come to the Air Services site where you can download various charts. Now, all, all charts will have a bit of information about them. Um, firstly, what they're a chart of. Um, and also when the chart is effective. So this, this chart is effective May 24, 2018, and it happens to be the 1st of May 2018 here. So we're a little bit ahead of ourselves with this chart. Every good chart will also have a thing called a legend. And on this part of the screen, you can actually see the legend that's on the print, printed version. So here's where you can decode all these symbols and lines and things that you find on the chart. The legend is really, really helpful. Um, a lot of people forget that they've got a legend. And um, why am I going to rotate this? That's why I think. There you go. There's the legend up the right way so we can see it. So as you can see, the legend's got all the different symbols that are used on the chart and an explanation of what those symbols represent. So if you ever get stuck reading a VTC or any ear chart for that matter, you can also also always refer to the legend. Okay, so let's turn this thing back the right way. Um, I think it's that way now. Yes, bingo, got it the right way. Um, and have a look at some of the chart's features. So, one of the things you need to note is that this visual terminal chart, as all visual terminal charts, are, have a scale of 1 to 250,000. Which means the real world is 250,000 times bigger than what's drawn on the chart. Let's scroll down a bit and have a look at a very obvious feature of this chart you will notice that there are circles coming out from Sydney Airport. So it's no, no, uh, no issue here trying to figure out who's the centre of attention. It's obviously sent, uh, Sydney Airport. And that's why it's called the Sydney, Sydney VTC. It's the Sydney Visual Terminal Chart for pretty much Sydney Airport and the little airports around it as well. Now in the real life, um, these circles would be proper circles, they'd complete their circle, and that would be in the ideal world. Um, however, you'll notice that these circles have actually got pieces chomped out of them. The circles aren't complete, they form all kinds of funny patterns around them. And that's because our airspace is busy. What we're trying to do with airspace is allocate different sections of the ear for different uses. It's basically trying to um, share out airspace so everyone has a fair go and all the people who want to use the sky can, can have their portion to fly in. And as you can see, it's very complicated around Sydney. And that makes sense. It's a huge population. There's a lot of people there. And there's a lot of things going on. There's a lot of other airports. There's a lot of heliports. There's a lot of air and air, um, air aviation happening there with seaplanes and helicopters and transit lanes for helicopters for different media organisations and such. There's restricted areas around military bases. It's a pretty complicated place. So we're actually looking at one of the most complicated visual terminal charts for the whole of Australia. Nice place to start. 
if you're a beginner. Hey. So we've just said that airspace is all about giving everyone who wants to fly a place to fly and fly safely so people aren't knocking into each other and killing each other and falling out of the sky. So it's all carved up so that everyone has a fair go. The big question, however, is as drone pilots, we need to use this chart to figure out what manned aviation is using the airspace for, and then ask the question, where is it safe for us to fly? Where's our airspace? How do we fit in with manned aviation? <laughs>